Now y'all look at this now. This this when a guy gets too comfortable in his employment, he thinks he can just wear anything to work. What's up YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean the Green Lawn Service in sunny, sunny, sunny South Georgia. Although it could rain at any time, it's sunny right now. It rained at three o'clock this morning hard. Did it? Now, we ain't gonna complain about no rain. We're about to get behind us a sprayer here. He's got nowhere to go. Oh, would he come down our road? Okay. The old road I passed him twice in two different vehicles. That's how slow he's going. So, uh, farm community, man. We used to that around here. Anyway, it's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. We're going out to get some grass cut. Nice and humid, probably 90 something degrees. What's that thing over there say? 93. 93. Supposed to be in the 90s about every day this week, I think. So, yep, that's what we got going on. And uh, may cut a couple. And uh, maybe it'll work out. I don't know. I don't know what time Z Man will get home, but we might be able to swing by and get him. We'll see see how it all pans out and cut what we can cut today say the rest for Thursday and Friday so headed to the lake now we'll check back with y'all now y'all look at this now this this when a guy gets too comfortable in his employment he thinks he can just wear anything to work <laughs> huh? Mr. Gator himself I don't know how many of them he's got a bunch. A bunch. But he wants to wear that old gator hat. He put on a gator shirt the other day or, or, or pulled off his shirt and had on a gator shirt. So, oh, we're going to catch fish now. And I will say we did catch a couple. I mean, I do have to give him that, but we seen way more gators than we did fish. So, there's the lake, man. Me and Elro need to be in there with the boat. But here we are. Working for a living, man. It's terrible. Terrible having to work for a living. All right, let me get this more unloaded so he'll roll and get rolling. Man, a lot's happened since I was on here. Uh, Elro and I finished at the lake and went and did another property. Come by the house to get Z-Man. And uh, while I was there, I got a message. One of my daughters uh, had to be taken. Well, one of my daughters works at the hospital. Her younger sister was sick and so she had to come home from the younger sister had somebody from work bring her to the hospital and uh my daughter who's a nurse said hey we need to take her to the er so they took her in there to the er and uh looks like she's we're thinking probably dehydrated uh but anyway they gave her something for the nausea and all that kind of stuff didn't give her fluids which was really weird but they think she got too hot she works for a vet was out on a farm call this morning for about four hours uh, outside like that, you know, and, and of course you don't spend a lot of time outside like that, and it is in the 90s now, so that could certainly have something to do with it. But anyway, I sent Z-Man and Elro off to mow, and I uh, said, hey, y'all got to go take care of these properties. I got to go, so I ran to the hospital. Uh, so I've been gone, I've been out of pocket for two and a half hours now, and uh, they're still out cutting somewhere. I haven't even messaged them. Uh, the only more I had left in the house is a Super Z. <laughs> so I loaded up the Super Z and I'm about to go um, start on some of the other properties. So anyway, and just see what we get done today. Uh, we probably, um, the grass is growing slow. So moving them from today to Thursday is not an issue other than the fact it gets people's schedule out of whack and then people going to know what do you do come on tuesday do you come on thursday you know that kind of stuff so i'm gonna try to get as many as i could i think we had probably about eight so i don't think we were gonna do them all anyway uh we did two i gave them three more to try to get done i'm fixing to run up here and get one or two um so uh if they get three that's five if i get two that's about seven so we'd be right there at uh I think we'd, we'd maybe be too short. So there was probably like 10 we could have done today or something. Uh, again, not that we had to do them. We could have done them. So um, anyway, yeah. But 
it, it's about to be six o'clock now, so uh, I'm not gonna have time. This one, this first one I'm going to do needs to be done, and uh, it's got a big ditch bank that I have to trim. So I'll be there over an hour, you know, because I got to trim the whole. You know, it's, it's 25. It's probably 20, 25 minutes just to trim the ditch, and then you're cutting the acre property. So. And that's if I don't get stuck. This is one of those ones if you get a little bit greedy and I got to be careful with that today because I don't have anything to pull out. You know, if I get one of these stuck, it's stuck. And then I'll have to call them and they can't finish what they're doing and, and, and try to come get me out. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. You have days like this, man, where, you know, things come up and, uh, things that you got to take care of and so uh, you know you just have to do that so you got to take care of your family man you got to take care of your family and uh, your kids or your parents or whatever the case might be for you if they need something you know you got to you got to take care of that so uh, this work will still be there them yards will still be there it ain't gonna cut itself so you ain't got to worry about that uh, anyway I get up here, I may, depending on where, if I can get the trailer back down where I want it, I might set it up and try to get y'all a little bit of footage from this one. I'm obviously going to be in a rush, so we'll just see what happens. Said. That took me almost uh, right at an hour and a half uh, for that property. Um, you know, that ditch takes, like I said, 20, 25 minutes to trim the ditch. Now, that is the driest I have ever seen that ditch. I could have put the, uh, I could have put the push mower in it, but there were still some soft spots. I think it'd be more aggravating. We've had, uh, I think I've been stuck in that ditch three times just trying to ride the edge of it. I don't know if you can see where I, you know, I trimmed up and was riding the edge. But I've been stuck three times doing that. Because once that tire slips on the ditch side, once it spins, the other tire runs you into the ditch. And uh, it's game over then. You go ahead and hook something to it. Uh, I've had the Raptor which I don't own anymore, the X1 and the Super Z. No, I don't think I ever had the Super Z stuck in there because I don't usually use it. Had the X1 stuck twice. I, I, I got it stuck once, and Elro got it stuck once, and I got the Raptor stuck once. So, um, But y'all know I like to get as close as I can. Man, you better get back in your lane. Dude trying to run me over, man. Or 
lady, whatever it was, uh, whoever it was, whichever one it was, man. Anyway, um, people are who, not what. I, you know, had to correct that. Um, anyway, El Romo and Z Man are, they got back to the house about seven o'clock. It's seven thirty now, and uh, so they got the three properties done that I have for them, and I just ended up doing the one. That, that the uh, the Super Z, the blades are not that sharp. Uh, if I'd have had the stander with me, I'd have cut that yard and I'd have went and got another one that was an acre, but I don't want to be out there and it's almost dark and I can't tell if I got everything good, you know, like uh, like my man Josh with Josh's, Josh's Lawn and Landscape, you know, working to dark, man, and uh, Randall over at Elite uh, Landscape and Life Stories, I think that's right. Anyway, check those guys out if you had the opportunity. And uh, appreciate you watching today, especially if you watch this far. I really appreciate it. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.